All right. Um, first off, I hope the... Um, I don't know if you can even hear the weird hum in the background, but you're probably hearing uh, Leo screwing around with the litter box. But um, it's just I don't want to pop my headphones on. And um, I've just been finding... I don't know what it is. In particular, it's the Uranus um, uh, uh, EM uh, recording that... Um, I'm just finding it monstrously um, calming for me. And I did a video last night, but I'm not sure if it's working because I've tried to upload it to YouTube and it uh, crashed or something. So I'm just doing this quickly. I'll talk about the purple guys later in, a, in bigger detail, but uh, um, I, it's due to the fact that um, I was looking up uh, the naval component and... Um, just by accident popped uh found these in the grand campaign that the russians are able to call up um uh the people's militia troops anyways um i it i was looking at you're allowed to pop them into urban uh sorry town and city hexes but uh that's a bit nebulous in the sense that it's not really whatever so i went with uh any named hex like the fortress type things and so on and so forth and then other ones that were not labeled as fortresses such as um uh lublin and uh radham and, and kielce uh, that type of stuff um but oh my god man this thing is just this game is just taken on once i started uh adding well as well as you guys having you guys uh uh interact and uh send, sending me off like you know chasing like little uh light beams on the on a wall or whatever um connecting the grand campaign with this now oh my god this thing has just gone on and it's just uh yeah uh and oh, okay here's the side note i'm just saying it's not because i'm you know tr i've got foreknowledge of what's going on and i'm just trying to help out the freaking russians hold on i'm gonna try to get oh yeah of course i can hit pause i keep forgetting so, yeah, and I'm, I'm sorry about the herky-jerky. Like I said, it's just I want to get some thoughts out of my, uh, out. But this is extremely bad news for Operation Luther. Uh, that was, this is completely unexpected to have one, four brigades littered all over the flipping place, exactly where the corridor was supposed to be vacant. Um, and this is but all part and parcel yet again with uh, the new change in command and trying to contract, um, the Russian lines, but on a flip side, I can remember a few posts ago, Charles Satoro was mentioning something about hold every ground or something and, and, uh, uh, and make them pay or something like that. And uh, so this kind of in a weird way works with that type of philosophy as well. And uh, I think I've mentioned before that I've uh, highly respect uh, Charles Latour's, um insights into gameplay and whatnot so if you know somebody like that can say you know maybe you uh, just even you know like on an um, on an off comment like that it's like okay there's there's merit in it so uh and this could be paying off um and like you know the Bereyevich dictum with the austrians who knows so i'm just thinking holy smokes what kind of thing is going to happen uh well, in November as well, with all this massive attack, and I did say there was going to be a ton of freaking blood spilled around here, um, around, around, oh gosh, my mind is going again, uh, not the Tiza River, um, here it is, hold on, where are you, and that was the one I really liked, the, the Russian Fourth Army has been lo loving it, the Nida, the Nida River, um, yeah, so, gosh, it's just waiting, man, it's just waiting for me. Okay, see you later.